textiles and all sorts of things that uh, retailers sell. And uh, it's an important piece of uh, the economy uh, for Germany. Consumer spending has become more and more important over the years as, a, as an important part of propping up the German economy. So, Ulrich, uh, tell us uh, your outlook for the markets this week. It's going to be a difficult week. Um, there's Thanksgiving uh, before that Black Friday. Uh, the Thursday, there's a public holiday in the United States. Uh, that al always makes for a difficult week uh, on the international markets. A little bit of volume there that's not there. Uh, the Japanese, they also have a holiday this week. Uh, and then there's Black Friday, uh, all, just half a day of trading in the United States. So there's a bit of the sustenance in, in, in the market uh, missing towards the later part of the week uh, and also there are these make or break topics out there uh, the brexit Theresa may in britain uh, she just uh, talked about what she would do to hold business uh, in the uk she wants to slash corporate taxes she wants to invest more in r d uh, it brings to mind that the brexit topic is still out, out, out there with all the uncertainties connected with that ditto with uh, the new presidency in the united states donald trump what will one hear there who will be a major player in the economic policy, Commerce Secretary, uh, Treasury Secretary. Um, th those are questions that are also going to sort of put a, put a lid on, on where the markets are able to go this week. Thank you so much, Ulrich Bath, for your insight. DWTV financial correspondent reporting from Frankfurt. Now let's take you back to the top story for today. The nation's gross Domestic products contracted by 2.24% year-on-year in the third quarter of 2016. Now, this was lower by 0.18% uh, 0.18 points from growth recorded in the preceding quarter and also lower by 5.08% from growth recorded in the corresponding quarter of 2015. Quarter-on-quarter, quarter, real GDP increased by 8.99%. Let's make some sense out of this numbers at the time when Nigerians need economic relief. Joining us on the program is the Chief Executive of the Financial Derivatives Company Limited, Mr. Bismarck Rwani. Thank you so much, Mr. Rwani, for your time. Okay, we've lost uh, Rwanda there. We hope we can get him back on track to give us his perspectives as to how the numbers turned out and why it is the way it is and what else can be done by the government to ensure that uh, we move forward. Okay, Rwani, I understand that Mr. Rwani is back with us. Good afternoon, Mr. Rwani. Now, this is not the kind of news Nigerians want to hear at this time of rising cost of living. Now, this shows the recession has further deepened, negative 2.24%. Now, did you see this coming? Hello? Okay, if you can Hello. hear me, I was asking you your reaction to the latest GDP reports uh, released by the National Bureau Hello. of Statistics, in which the third quarter uh, figure actually came in negative 2.24%. Okay, we have lost uh, track with uh, Mr. Rwani. Let's uh, take you back to the market and look at how Asia turned out at the end of uh, today's trading session, where the numbers were mixed as dollar strength took breather and uh, oil prices surged at the end of the session. The U.S. dollar index, which measures the greenback against a basket of currencies east of a multi-year high of 101.48 touched last week. Japan's Nikkei 2 to 5 closed up 0.7% as the yen decline stalled. Chinese shares were in positive territory with the Shanghai Composite closing up 0.79% at 3,218.2 and the Shenzhen Composite finishing up 0.36% at 2,118.94. Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index was up 0.21% after initial opening in negative territory. South Korea's benchmark Hospi finished down 0.43% at 1,666.05. Now, this comes after prosecutors said they believed that the president was an accomplice in a corruption scandal. We take it to South Africa where the 
Pioneer Food, Astro Foods and Rhodes Food expects the severe drought and weak economic growth to weigh on the businesses in the 2017 financial year. Now, this was revealed by the companies after reporting the res uh, results for the quarter. An El Nino weather pattern, which ended in May, triggered drought conditions across the southern African region that hit the staple, maize and other crops and dented economic growth. South Africa is expected to expand by 0.5% this year, down from the target of 0.9%. Pioneer, which makes food such as maize meal, pasta and juices, said that high maize prices and a reduced raisin crop will impact performance in the first half of the new year. Narod said that the drought could hurt its production costs and volumes in the year ahead if there is no improvement in the climatic conditions. We'll go on a break and when Business Incorporated returns, we'll be bringing you more on the program. Please stay with us.